Some of it is just flat out just disrespect. There's some annoyance, there's a chip there. You know, um, I wanna go in and I wanna go in and show who I truly am at my top in my peak form. Cause I feel me at my peak form, there's nobody close to me. Jamal, welcome back to TNT Sports. How are you, man? You good? I'm good, brother. How are you? You're doing? looking well. Thank you. Looking good, looking ready to bring it on Saturday evening. Ready to go. The last time we spoke, it was over Zoom and it was, I think after about your second or third fight, and I remember speaking to you about your children yeah. and how they respond to you being a UFC star. I, w I want to now kind of pick that conversation up from back in the day because they're the people that keep yeah. you humble. They're the ones that don't, yeah. you know, get caught up with the glitz and the glamour of this crazy little game. That was pre-becoming champion. Right. Come on, man. Tell me that it changed. No. T tell me that they went, no. listen, that's the guy now, man. You know? No. One, 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 my, my, my daughter, uh, my daughter Carmela, she, she's interested. She searches YouTube. She searches my name all the time. She watches, she watches everything. She keeps up with it. She keeps up with everything. So she's, she's bought into it. The others, they can't, I can't get the other ones, man. The other ones, they don't, they don't care. They don't care. So you rock up with UFC gold and it's just school run. I it's just, Dad, we want pizza. <laughs> We're, you know. <laughs> how have them been in your life? How, how did they influence the, the motivations? How do they influence the desire to achieve the things that you're achieving in a relatively short period of time in the UFC? Well, I mean, well, I've been a dad since I was 15. Yeah. I had my first, I had my first child uh, really, really young. And for what I can remember, it was just understanding the weight of responsibility, understanding the rate of responsibility and uh, what you do matters and people depend on you. And it's not just all about you, you know, so it was, uh, it was more so just a motivation and a focus and the maturity of you have people to take care of. Yeah, yeah. How did that change you as a guy at 15? Because at 15 years of age, that's a big responsibility. Oh, uh, man, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to the kind of hard to say because, you know, you kind of fight it a little bit at first. Just for the simple fact, you don't want your life to change. You're a kid. You still want to be a kid. You still want to do all the things that you want to do. But um, just I don't know, bro, it's just something just looking in my daughter's face, seeing it, and just looking in her face and seeing my likeness and just myself within another person like that. It just it just sparks something in me gets you focused, gets you realigned, gets you in, going in the direction that obviously you've now achieved, but it, yeah, 100%. It, it just, it just more thoughtful with the reckless things. I did a lot of reckless things when I was younger and I did a lot of reckless things. When I was younger. I lived a, had a different mindset, you know, and um, they helped change it for the better. Well, you've changed it massively, massively, <laughs> <laughs> massively. massively. So, so talk to me about now the last 14 months, because I, I can imagine that being quite a difficult thing because Short period of time, you rise, you become the champ, put in wonderful performances, you're the guy now. And then you have this horrific injury and you kind of, through no fault of your own, kind of a force away from the game. What's that like to deal with mentally? Um, it can be tough, it can be tough. For me, for me it was, um, initially, it was like, yeah, it was tough. It was, it was just unbelief, it was disbelief. I mean, yeah, yeah. I was just disbelief. I couldn't believe it. It was just like. Because it was quick. Yeah. Your champ, and then yeah. two months later, you, you bust your leg. It just, it just, this injury didn't seem that, it didn't seem that, that, that crazy. You know, I moved, I actually walked around, was moving around for the next couple of days on the, on the, on the foot with no problems. Okay. Well, we're not, not saying I'm not with no problems, but like, from what I, my understanding of the injury, your foot would be done for. Like it hangs and all those things. That wasn't the case for mine. So whenever it came out that it was that, it was just it was it was really just disbelief. But rather so quickly, I got I got in with the UFC. We talked, understood what the plans were moving forward. Uh, got it. Got got the insurance of whenever I came back, I would get I would get my title back and all and all those and uh and everything that comes with that. And once that was understood, it was okay. Focus on recovery. I mean, he was focused on getting back. You know what I mean? That was the one thing that was good about it. The UFC jumped in right behind me immediately and let me, all right, all right this is what we need to do. This is what, this is, this is what, this is what the plan is. What doctors do you, I mean, what doctors do you need or whatever? You know what I mean? With their plan as far as the future for, for the promotion and things like that. But once I understood that, all right, you have a place, get healthy, you get your title back. You didn't, you haven't really lost anything other than just the label of, of champion. So. It's just focus, focus on recovery, focus on that challenge. I'm very good at whenever I have a challenge, 
focusing on and attacking that challenge. I'm blowing up on Instagram as well, man, because you know what I mean? You've become, as well as obviously an elite fighter, you're a bit of a, an Instagram star now, you know? You've got a little bit of, a little bit of comedy that comes our way every now yeah, and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Do you to like be that? A little, I like to be a little cheeky. <laughs> even now, time and time again. Yeah. Um, I just like I just like humor. I like making people laugh. I like laughing. I like enjoying my moments in life and things like that. And I think humor is one of the best ways to do that. Is to uh, have fun. I like being creative, putting things together. I was in video production whenever I was uh, whenever I was younger. So I've always been into making content and things like that. I uh, wrote I wrote like whenever I was a kid. I used to take like my toys and I line them up. And this dude's had this fight scene for whatever reason. Whole storylines and things like that. So storytelling and just creativity like that has always been a thing. Movies are coming, man. Oh yeah. I wrote, I wrote some movies, I wrote some TV shows that I, find, I think are pretty interesting. Well, whenever I was working a factory job, that's how I used to get through my shifts. I literally would just sit and write a story in my head while I was working. And that's how, that was the way I killed Keep time. them on the back burner. Yeah, I got so, a binder. I have a binder where I wrote, where, I, where I've wrote, wrote out a lot of Give us a little test, man. What have you, what have you written? Huh? I, I imagine it's I don't know action if I don't know. Have you done know. action stuff? It's uh, some, some action, yeah. some suspense, some, some, some things with a twist. I like, I like movies with a twist. I like... I like whenever you, whenever a story is going one way, and so you get hit with something that you didn't see coming, you know. Yeah. Learn something new about a fighter every single day. Screenwriter. That's the that's the next thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully so. How have you enjoyed watching the division develop whilst you've been away, or has it been a frustrating period? Nah, I've I've, I've enjoyed it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That's the reason why I stepped aside. I stepped aside for people for 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 business to continue as as uh. As usual, like I said in the uh, in the feature, um, the show must go on, and I'm not exempt from that. So I wasn't exempt from that. I, whenever I accepted, I, I I came to terms with things very very quickly, very very quickly. By the time I was on the operation table, I was already good, and I was past it. I was. Um, I'm not a hater, bro. I want I want to see I want to see people accomplish their goals. I want to see people make it. Granted, I want to be stingy with the title. I want it to be per 